The View menu will allow you to choose what you see on your screen. First, you have the option to freeze rows or columns. You can choose not to freeze any rows or columns or where you would like it to go to. Let's take a look at how that works. If I want to freeze the first row, so as I scroll down, I still see my header. From the View menu, I can choose to freeze one row. Now as I scroll down, that row stays at the top. I can choose to do two or more rows at a time. If I choose to freeze two rows, it'll also keep that first entry there. Once I have frozen rows, I can click and drag that bar to adjust how many rows or columns that I have frozen. I can also click and drag so that I freeze columns. This will mean when I scroll left and right, the names or the buyer will still stay there. Next, I can choose to see grid lines or not. If I uncheck grid lines, I'm no longer going to see them throughout my document unless I put in borders. So if I open up a new sheet tab and I go to view and I uncheck grid lines, I no longer see those unless I select to insert the borders myself. Next, you can see any protected ranges. If you have a protected range in your cell, that means you've only given certain people access to edit a specific range of data, you could see those by selecting that. Next, you can choose whether or not you want to see your formula bar. If I uncheck it, it will go away. If I want to get it back, I just click view again and select the formula bar. If you ever want to see what formulas are on your spreadsheet, you can go back to the view menu and click show formulas. What this does is as I scroll through here, any cell that has a formula, it now shows that formula rather than just the result. If I want to get away from that, I just click show formulas again. I can choose to see any hidden sheets as well. So if I go down to hidden sheets, I can see that mulch sales is hidden. When I select that, it'll show back up. I can change my zoom from the view menu, and I can also choose to view this spreadsheet full screen. To get out of the full screen view, then I press the escape button on my keyboard.